The family home of one of the United States' most celebrated generals is a long way from the battlefields of Iraq and Afghanistan. But for these veterans, the stress resulting from combat is never far away. They're taking part in a filmmaking workshop here, attempting to convey their struggle to return to civilian life. So none of us talk about our uh, combat experiences. Um, I certainly don't. My wife doesn't know anything that happened um, while I was deployed or what we did. The process of shooting and editing allows them to share feelings that many have kept bottled up. This short film shows their sense of isolation. Holly Fleming says she wanted to let other veterans know they aren't alone. A lot of like that hurt and the hypervigilance and like the, the bad emotions that I feel you know, you know, just living day to day as a combat veteran. Um, and I was really able to pour that and lift that off my shoulder, so to speak. And now it's out there for everybody to see, like, what it is that we feel and what we go through. Cutting is one way. Documentary filmmaker Benjamin Patton grew up in this house and founded the program for vets. As the son of one decorated general and the grandson of World War II hero George Patton, he grew up surrounded by military culture and a legacy of service. It's a sad fact that more members of the U.S. military now die from suicide than combat. This grim reality has forced the armed services to put the mental health of soldiers front and center, a far cry from the days of Ben Patton's grandfather. Well, hell, you're just a goddamn coward. His grandfather was notorious for his intolerance of battle-weary soldiers, as conveyed in the Academy Award-winning film, yeah, Patton. bastard sitting here crying in front of these brave men who've been wounded in battle. They were always very focused on taking care of their troops, and famously so. But they really had no understanding for this aspect of taking care of the mental health of their troops. Patton has also been conducting workshops on military bases and hopes to expand the program. I'd like to think that my father and my grandfather are up there saying, you know, you're still taking care of the troops. Because now is a time when we have hundreds of thousands of men and women taking off the uniform and trying to filter back into civilian society and get jobs. It's his own way of serving the country and continuing a family tradition. Kristen Salumi, Al Jazeera, South Hamilton, Massachusetts.